Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all well. We kicked off yesterday in our last episode with this team on your screen in front of you, which is just to recap the Zygarde, the Tapu Fini, the Sogaleo, Incineroar, Venusaur and Crow, uh, Toxicroak. I was going to say Crobat there, but it's not a Crobat. It's a Frogbat. Um, so yes, just to recap, we've got the Misty Seed on the Zygarde, the Berry on Finny. We've got the Phytinium Z on Sogaleo, just as a little bit of a variation on the, the standard Sogilium Z, which we might end up changing to. We've got the Incineroar, Bulky Berry, Focusash, Venusaur, and then the Assault Fest Oh, uh, I'm going to say Crobat again, aren't I? Toxicroc, ignore me. I don't know why I've got Crobat on the brain for some reason. Um, but yes, the team, as always, is in this description below with a roll paste and a poker paste, so you can check that out, try it out if you'd like. And if you do try it out, let me know what your thoughts are on the team. But if you missed yesterday's episode, go back up here, I'll link a card for you so you can catch up. We had some really good games to kick us off yesterday. And like I said in yesterday's episode, what I want to do is mimic that Curum White build process that we did, where we go through the battle spot, identify the threats, and overcome them and tweak and test and put our own kind of mark on this team to have a really good finished article at the end of the, the two-week period where we'll be playing around with it. Because I do feel, although Although there's a lot of potential in this team and it can do some really good work there are holes in it and there are certain archetypes out there that it does struggle against so it's patching those up and really like I say putting our own mark on it by the end of the two weeks which I hope we'll do so getting into it today guys let's do it let's get some music on because that's always fun and uh, hop onto the battle spot but just a reminder as well if you do enjoy this content make sure that you do drop a like on the video just down there that little thumbs up thing and uh, make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our daily battle series our streams uh guide series flinch squad circuit review show and all of those goodies as well and like i was mentioning yesterday i am currently working on our ultra series guide so they will be dropping as soon as the ultra series does come into effect so to make sure you don't miss any of those um you should stay up to date and subscribe i need to plug this in because i was like why is my ds going red there we are we've got power and we have our first opponent so let's jump into team pre so lance goodlow is our first opponent today what a good name playing a team of xerneas kaya olga Amoongus, Kartana, Incineroar, and Tornado. So that common combination of Xerneas, Kyogre here. We're going to have to be very careful of. I mean, we've got the Sogaleo that deals with the Xerneas pretty nicely, the Kartana, the Incineroar, and even the Amoongus with, with proper terrain support. But it's the Kyogre that I'm a little more worried about. That's why I think I want to bring probably Toxicroc to this match. It does do a really nice job against the Kyogre general, and we've got ways to hit the majority of things on the team. And then the only thing that we need to worry about from there would be be the Tornadus. Um, I would suspect that the Tornadus probably has Rain Dance in this sort of build, but considering that we don't have a weather of our own, we don't need to worry about that too much. It's just deciding what we want to play. Um, I think what we'll do is lead off with what's what four do we want? We want Tapu Fini for sure. Um, I think Sogaleo is going to be very nice. Um, I want to say Incineroar really do want to see Incineroar, but I also want to bring Zygarde to this match, even though it doesn't seem like it would have the best of times, but if we can get it set up, not in front of the Xerneas, then it should be quite effective. But we'll jump out into our first one today, so hopefully it's a good one, guys. And good luck to my opponent. Let's see, but yes. I was mentioning yesterday as well about the, the Gen 8 reveals. I didn't really get much time to touch on them, but I mean, yeah, it was just incredible seeing those. And I'm like totally spoiler crazy at the minute now. I'm like, I want to know all the information. Like as much as I would love to get the game opener up and everything be like brand new to me. I'm so bad. I'm so impatient. I just want spoilers all the time, um, <laughs> which isn't great. So um, it's one thing I have to kind of, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? But I mean... Yeah, you decide your own around that. But we're going to see a Kartana Kyogre come up from my opponent. It's likely that it's Scarfed Kyogre, I would say. Um, we can probably... I think we're going to have to bring in Toxicroak and just protect with Sogaleo um, this first turn. I can't imagine anything but a Leaf Blade coming out from the Kartana and then uh, I would say maybe a Thunder into the Tapu Fini, but if it is and it's faster than this Kartana, we know it's scarfed into that Thunder, so Sogaleo's got a better time going into the next turn for sure. It is that Thunder. Leaf Blade into Toxicroak. A critical hit? No? Wow. But thank 
Thank goodness we have that water spout coming out, which will heal us all the way back, <laughs> nearly up to full health. Um, we can uh, we can get the dry skin as well, which will take us to full health again, undo all that damage. Now we've got access to fake out here, so we could just fake out the Kyogre and go for that um, Phytinium. All our pummeling into the Kotan. I'm tempted to do this. I really am tempted to do it. And I'm going to do it. I'm just going to lock down. I'm going to pull the trigger on it. And we'll hopefully get this Cartana. No switches either. So we're going to get the Kyogre for this turn. We're going to see a knockoff into Toxapoke. Take away that Assault Fest. You don't like to see. But we are going to get out. <laughs> Z move. And if this Cartana is Assault Fest like they normally are in this sort of build. Then we should be able to pick up the knockout pretty handsomely. Um, pretty handsomely. What am I talking about? Pretty easily. Just throwing words together. That's all I'm doing. Just excited because we're just all up pummeling. It's Cortana. It's gone. Makes <laughs> Tabu Finney's life so much easier now. Like it really does. Now we have access to Y God as well. Um, Toxic Croc is going to miss its assault vest for sure. Um, but it doesn't have to rely on it. It does such a good job against Kyogre in general. I'm going to see Incineroar now hit the field. Um. And we could just wide guard, although we have to worry about the fake out from the incineral. Um, ooh, what do we do? I mean, we could switch into Tapu Finny for Toxicroc, reset the Intimidate drop, and just protect. I think that's probably the the most sensible thing to do here. We're not going to take too much damage from making this play. Then we've got the Toxicroak to switch back in for the Sogalea. If we do find ourselves in a little bit of an awkward position going into the next turn, um, and you've got to imagine, probably, I think my opponent probably wants to get rid of this Sogalea because the Xerneas is probably lurking in the back. And um, as long as we keep Sogalea around for the late game, we should be able to close it up pretty pretty comfortably here so we'll just withdraw Toxicroc. Nice bringing Toxicroc as well to the match and being able to show its kind of utility especially against these Kyogre teams. It's a Pokemon that I've dipped in and out of using a lot through the, the Sun and the Moon series um, but kind of never really had too much time to play around with it as much as I would have liked to. I'm gonna see the Incineroar now switch out and um, it'll probably be that Xerneas coming in I'd imagine. Hmm. Yeah, it is a Xerneas. Ah, okay. The Kyogre has locked into Water Spout. Now we do have Wide Guard, but we've just protected, so it's going to be a bit awkward doing that, I think. Um, like Sogaleo will take a Water Spout, so we could potentially just Heal Pulse the Sogaleo and Sunsteel Strike the Xerneas. The Sogaleo will definitely take a Water Spout, full power Water Spout from it. It's not even full power, it's kind of like uh, just under full power because it's Kyogre. Okay, my opponent baiting us in. Doing the thing. Okay, just getting damage off. But I mean the heal pulse kind of helps us out massively here. Yeah. Smart play from my opponent. Like it's it's the the idea to do this is like it's like perfectly along the right lines. Like you want to be doing this. This is what you you need to get rid of the Sogaleo for your Xerneas to have a really good time. I'm going to see Scald actually come out, not uh, Water Spout, which is interesting. Um, and we do see that it's not actually Scarfed as well, which is super interesting. Kind of assumed that it was. We'll just heal off that damage though, which is pretty nice for us. And that, um, I think, because the terrain is going to be running out soon as well. Yeah, we want to um, just get Toxicroc onto the field now and uh, we'll protect with Sogaleo. My opponent probably gone for the Scald there, expecting the Wide Guard maybe as well. Kind of just covering for that. But the Misty Terrain is quite important for us in this match just to kind of alleviate any sort of burns. And having the, the Finny in the back to bring in if the Kyogre does decide to go a bit crazy with Water Spouting. Um, even though it's slower than a Sogaleo. It's always a nice security you have in the back. So we'll bring in Toxicroc. We'll get this protect off. Uh, see so a scald into that slot. Another U-turn, I'd imagine. Yeah. Okay.
Now this is the turn I think we try and make a little bit, take a little bit more advantage of things because I feel like you bring the Xerneas in here. What you want to do is get the Incineroar in next to it so you've got that fake out the next turn. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fake out Xerneas just to actually check it so it doesn't, it can't go for that Geomancy. Um, although it probably doesn't go for it to be honest. I think we don't even need to fake it out. I'm not scared of it if it does decide to go for... Uh, actually, we will fake it out because if we're going for the superpower like I want to, um, we don't want to be having to shuffle around our board too much with Sorgaleo after this. And getting the attack drop does make it likely that that Incineroar... Uh, the Xerneas will be able to take a Sunsteel Strike after a minus one from the superpower drop. Now, Incineroar coming in like we expected. We should be able to pick up the knockout from this range with the superpower like it should have enough chip onto it and faking out here is definitely and uh, we're not getting punished for not doing that because I wanted to maybe double into this slot just to make sure that we were getting the, the knockout there but we are able to pick up the KO on the Incineroar and take away that line of um, support for the Xerneas now we've got since your strike poison jab we can we can double into the Xerneas if we like the Kyogre going to hit the field once again. Um, so yeah, I think we just poison jab. I feel like the Xerneas protects here, if I'm like completely honest with you. But what happens if it doesn't protect and we switch out? I mean, I think it, now we've got enough to deal with the Kyogre. It's the Xerneas we need to deal with. As long as Toxicroc's around, we don't really worry about this Kyogre too much. Yeah, it's gone straight for the Geomancy, so doubling into it was the right call here. The Poison Jab, Sunsteel Strike should be enough to take it down. If we'd been a bit complacent, like we were thinking of doing, like switching the Sogaleo out um, to reset those stack drops, then we would have really got punished, and it would have made it closing down this match a lot more difficult for us here. So um, we'll see this Sunsteel Strike now after this Geomancy. It's not going to be picking up the knockout at all but like I say as we have poison jabbed into that slot with our Toxicroak even minus one we should be able to pick up the knockout from this range Ooh. oh wow okay <laughs> Waterium Z coming out the bag from the Kyogre and I mean it was to be expected to be honest because it's not scarfed oh, are you kidding <laughs> Z Psych up holy crap holy crap <laughs> Of all, oh man, we don't even take the Xerneas down. <sighs> Get the poison. Wow, Z Psych up. That poison is huge for us there. It takes the Xerneas down. Like we could suck a punch at the next turn, which probably would pick up the knockout. Wow, I can't believe that. I really can't believe that. That is incredible. Um, hmm. I think what we'll do is switch in um, Finny. We'll go for the Poison Jab. Poison Jab probably does more. Or the Drain Punch. Drain Punch. We'll go into... Yeah, we'll Drain Punch. And bring in Finny. This Kyogre hasn't got Thunder then. It's got Water Spout and Scald. So it can't, it can't beat the Toxicroc. But these plus two Scalds are still going to be... Like, look at this. Watch. 50% <laughs> to a Finny. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. These Drain Punches are doing nothing either. Okay. Uh, I mean, Finny, can you actually take another one? I don't think you're actually going to be able to. Because we want a Nature's Madness it if we can, just to get some damage onto it. Another skull. This will take us down, I reckon. Oh, we survived with 5 HP. Okay. <laughs> That's insane. I love that Z Psych up though. That is incredible. That's a really good tech. I'm so happy that we got to feature it on the on the channel as well for you guys. Such a cool thing. I mean we get super fortunate with the um with the poison, like I've already said, but I mean, yeah. It's fine, isn't it? I like it. Like I say, we still had like we still had Zygarde in the back with extreme speed. Even if it did survive, we can bring it in extreme speed. 
um, the Xerneas, the worst case scenario. So we just do see the forfeit, but very good game to my opponent, and what a nice team, and what a nice way for us to kick off the episode today, guys. So we'll get straight into our next one. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent, but in the meantime, while we are uh, waiting, yeah, I can talk a bit more about this, this Pokemon Direct last week, which I keep trying to talk about, but then we get cut off so quickly. But yes, um, Team Sobble is like 100%. Sobble's just so cute. It's, it looks amazing. It's like a salamander lizard thing. So cool. Um, so it's definitely, I've already decided that's going to be my starter. Um, and like I say, I would love to get the game and be like, oh, this is all brand new and sparkly and I don't know anything about it. But I think because of how excited I am about the games dropping, I'm literally all over every single like leak, rumor, any content to do with it. It's all very exciting. So um, I won't pass on any spoilers on these videos. So don't worry, I won't spoil it for anyone else. If you are one of those people sitting on sitting on wanting to have all that fun and excitement when you get the game. We've gone up against Benya as um, our first opponent, uh, second opponent today with Amoongus Kyogre, Tapu Bulu, uh, Stakitaka, Lunala and Incineroar. So a nice combination between the Lunala and the Kyogre here. One that's probably a bit underutilized, I think. This is going to be a tough matchup for us because the Lunala puts on a lot of pressure on our Sogaleo and makes things very difficult for us. Um, aside from that, Sogaleo does a pretty good job against most things outside of the Kyogre. It's just a restricted that we need to make sure that we're managing properly. I think if we bring Toxicroak here, it's probably a very good call, especially for the, the Tapu Bulu, um, the Kyogre, the Stack Attacker, and even that Incineroar to a certain extent, and, and the, the Lunala if we can break that Shadow Shield. I'm going to lead off with Incineroar because of that. Um, and I think... Hmm, Maybe this one's where we leave Zygarde at home. Like, Zygarde could be potentially quite good here. Um, but I don't know if there's much room. I definitely want Misty Terrain. How do I want? Yeah, we definitely want Misty Terrain just to help us against that Amoongus if th things are set up. I'm going to lead off with Sogaleo. Bring Finny and Toxicroak in the back. And we'll go with, with those to start us off today. So, good luck to my... But yeah, I won't drop any... Any spoilers here? This is a spoiler-free zone. Um, just things that are officially announced I will talk about, but nothing else. Um, so, I would hate to spoil it for anyone. And anything I read, I'll not mention. Um, but that's the thing, like, if you guys, I know the majority of you like competitive VGC stuff, but if you ever did want me to cover, like, news, theories, just my opinions on things, um, leaks on stuff that have come out on the new games let me know on the run-up because I am a Pokemon fan deep down at heart and I love all that sort of stuff so anything like that is like I, I would be so happy to create content on but it's just whether or not you would like to see it or not so let me know I'm happy to do it if so we're gonna see Amoongus Lunala come out for my opponent um, mm. Without Snarl, it makes it a little bit difficult to get around. I think what we'll do is we'll go knock off into Lunala and we'll bring in Tapu Fini here for Sogalea. We need to not be Z-moved in this situation. The Amoongus does give that Lunala a lot of protection. and My opponent's identified that we don't really have too much around that. Um, this is why the Zygarde might have been quite useful here. I'm going to see the Rage Powder <coughs> come up from the Amoongus. So we will be able to knock it off. Uh, we're going to see a Trick Room, I think. A roll, maybe. Trick Room. <sighs> hmm, that's interesting. Very interesting. Um, but with the Misty Terrain up, it's it's fine, isn't it? Um, I think I'll just go for another knockoff into Lunala. Um, do a knockoff this time. I think we probably want to Flare Blitz and Nature's Madness the Lunala. I imagine the Kyogre might come in here. Could do. But for Toxicroak to deal with this Lunala well, we're gonna have to try and get break the Shadow Shield. Ooh, Spore and Misty Terrain. Not realizing that it doesn't actually affect us. We could have just went for the knockoff there. It's a bit frustrating, isn't it? But I mean, it's fine because we get the Nature's Madness now into the Lunala. And the next turn we can we can knock it off. We're gonna see Moonguys Beam just come out from Lunala. Um, maybe a, a misclick for my opponent there with the Amoongus or a timeout, you never know. I see the Amoongus Beam come out into Finny do some nice damage. We'll return back with breaking that Shadow Shield. Putting it in knockout range as well. Knock off range and knockout range 
from our Incineroar, and I'd imagine the, the Kyogre coming in now. I think the only thing that could really scupper our plans would be an Iron Ball Kyogre. And whether or not this Lunala's got Protect as well. I don't know if it will have. Um, but it's not to say it won't. But when Nature's Madness, the Kyogre, and knock off that Lunala. And I mean, we've got Toxicroc now to come in. And the Lunala's in Sucker Punch range. Oh, we're not even going to see a switch out or anything like that. We're going to see a Cobra Berry there, but it still should be enough to take it down yet. And now taking down the Lunala. Origin Pulse coming out from the Kyogre. It's not Iron Ball. Doing a chunk to old Incineroar here, though. Um, and it is a slow Kyogre, so it's nice to know when the Trick Room ends, if we can get that far. That we'll be able to add speed after that. So let us bring in the Toxicroak. And one of my opponent's last Pokemon is. Hmm. It's Incineroar. Incineroar! Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's going to be able to fake us out before we can fake it out, but the Kyogre can't really touch us. Um, okay, let's go. I mean, we'll try and fake out if we can, and we can just nature's madness. I mean, what we'll do actually, we'll go swagger into the Toxicroc. Because the Incineroar is likely to fake out the Toxicroc here, I think. Oh, the Tapu Fini. Okay. Just trading the fake out this turn. I think that's fine. We don't mind that at all. Um, hmm. Let's go Poison Jab into the Kyogre and go for that Swagger once again. I don't think we get the Swagger off this time though. We'll probably see a Thunder or just another Origin Pulse. Even Origin Pulse at this range will be enough to take us down, but um, my opponent just forfeiting and uh, we are able to come through victorious in that one. So again, we've had two really good games here today. So I hope you've enjoyed them, guys. Um, I have been trying to talk a little bit about the Pokemon Direct last week, but I haven't really had much time to, but uh, we'll, we'll have time on stream or something like that, or just another video separately all about it to discuss that. But things going really nicely with the team so far this week so I hope you're enjoying it do leave your comments and let me know what your thoughts are on it and uh, we'll be back with another episode tomorrow thank you so much for tuning in hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you all again very soon so until then guys take care and bye bye